Now that you have hopefully gotten that really cool gift that you wanted, it's time to figure out how to get the gadgets to work and make sure they don't break. Never fear, though. Our tech girl guru, Becky Worley, is here with some great tips. Merry Christmas, Beck. Thank you. So great Thank to have you. you in person. We're yeah. usually seeing you by Skype. In my kitchen, but no. Uh, you know, here I am today to help you with all of the gadgets that you received as gifts. And one of the biggest gifts of the year, we understand, iPads, iPhones. So let's start with them. How right. do we protect them. Right, this is the time. You just got your great gadget, it's, you're in love with it, so take care of your little baby, okay? Yes. So what you're trying to avoid is turning this into this. That's Ooh, happened to me. We do not want the crack screen. And it really is like one fall and it can happen. Absolutely, and especially when so many teens are getting these gifts. So the thing you'll, you'll notice is a lot of people say, put a case on it right away. This thing is like a tank. I mean, fitting this in your pocket is a serious endeavor. There are some with uh, that are just a little bit more silicone with rounded corners. Those seem to do the best job protecting you. But what I found, I do a lot of drop testing, both intentionally and and unintentionally. Mm -hmm. And what really makes a difference is a screen protector. When you put one of these on your phone, it really helps to protect the cracked it screen. It absorbs some of the fall. It does. Um, and it's the least obtrusive, so you're more likely to use it all of the time. So get a screen protector on if you do nothing else for your new baby. And I do think getting a case is a great investment. They don't cost a lot of money, and they can hopefully spare you. And if all you right. get a bright one, ladies, you can see it at the bottom of your purse instead of the black phone, which I you can never that find. Has, like, glow lights or a siren on it. Uh, what about insurance? Yeah, that's a new thing. You know, we've kind of seen warranties in the past and people took you off, they, you know, said, oh, I don't get the warranty. But these days, when you're talking about an item that, you know, maybe you got it for 200 bucks, but replacing it would cost 500. Exactly. Here's my rule of thumb. If you work outdoors, if you're prone to dropping your toilet, dropping this thing in the toilet or leaving it in the cab, or you give it to a teen, think about insurance. There are companies like Square Trade or your carrier especially now is offering these the rest of us maybe you can get away with not getting the insurance but I say it's worth looking into yes. at, at least okay so Definitely. what about if we've upgraded that we've gotten a really fancy phone and upgrading right. from the old school what do we do with our old stuff oh this is amazing 62 percent of us according to a survey by a phone company called lookout 62 percent of us have old gadgets just stuffed in a drawer mm -hmm. so what you should do is turn those gadgets into dollars sell them now now. You can How? use gazelle.com, see exchange, next worth. You can even use eBay. That's where I found that you do get the best prices. Um, but what you need to know is they lose value the longer they sit in the drawer, so sell them now. Okay, great advice. And big question, how do I get the new gadget to work? Right. I, I'm dying to use it. My kids go through this. They get the thing, and then I'm like, oh, I'm so scared for that moment. Right, okay. <laughs> so you have lots of different services that are available to you. You know about the Geek Squad, and that's a subscription service. Then if you get a new Mac, you can go to Apple and get their one one to one training services where they'll give you weekly lessons for $99 a year. My best advice find a geeky kid in the neighborhood. Oh. The price is right, they're more flexible, and they'll be responding to your every um, embarrassing question. We, we are say. running out of time, but I want you to get to your very last tip. The one thing I always recommend on Christmas is to bust out the freezer bags oh. and the Sharpies. <laughs> Because what you're going to do is for everything you get, every new gadget, you label what it was. I got my new Galaxy phone. You put the warranty. You put the instructions. You put the extra cables. You put anything that came with it. And only then do you throw it into that drawer. Because then when you want to sell it on Gazelle or right. eBay, you've got all Or you need the cord you. or, you know. You, Becky Worley. I'm here always for you, Larry. I'm here for you. We thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Same Beck. to you.